Hi guys, 3D Hero here, and welcome to another Destiny 2 fashion loadout video, where I bring you new and fashionable loadouts from the community every once a week. Today's loadout is going far back to the Golden Age pilot, who once found the dormant traveller slumbering, and also led to the current downfall of the once Golden Age of humanity. I present to you the Golden Age astronaut, with their modern day weaponry and gear. This fashionable loadout is remnants to the modern day astronauts, who will explore the planets to see if there's anything unique or mysterious on them. Kind of like how our modern day astronauts go into the stars and explore and such. Now this idea here was taken from Reddit from the user called, uh, I believe, PHX Travis, who did a copy of the astronauts back in the Destiny 1 intro. And considering how simple the gear set is to do, I did my take on it for both PvP and PvE, which I must say does play pretty well, and is pretty balanced stat-wise as well. But it's not something you want to use in competitive play. So for the loadout, I went with the following. Your primary is the half down AR, which you can get from Banshee through ranking up. Now, this weapon is quite a grind to get, so there's not a 100% chance that you will get this AR. So if you can't get this AR, don't worry about it, you can always use it another kinetic assault rifle, like the Scavelock for example. As long as you colour it white, that's all that matters. Because I know half of you here generally cannot get the half down AR to drop, because it is one of these weapons that has a very low drop rate. Your secondary is the Itana S14 sidearm, and your heavy will be the Berenger's grenade launcher. Your gear will be the Lost Pacific set, as this is the closest to an astronaut set in game, and your titan mark is the mark of the unstable, although you can change the mark to something else as long as it's behind your titan. And also make sure you go with the Callus Selector shader for that white gold gleam. Now fashion wise, this whole set and shader really does look fantastic on the titan, as it really is a unique gear set, and the only gear set to have small gauntlets funny enough. So you can always mix and match whenever you want. Also, the other thing about this set is that everything about it will make you stand out against the crowd. As one, not many people can get the whole set from Titan, as it really is a grind to get. And two, the color shader doesn't feel that tacked on or overdone on the whole gear set. Now, I'm not a big fan of the shader, as when you apply it to some of the other gear sets or weapons in game, the gold, whites, and purples feel like they clash way too much. And it really is unpleasing to the eyes at times. But this shader feels like it really does suit the gear set, like it was designed for this very purpose. And overall it just looks quite stunning to be honest. But if you've never done the raid, and you're more of a person that's done trials, then you, you can go ahead and get the trial shader to fit in as well. As the trial shader is a all white shader that I believe does also look pretty damn good as well. Now if you're wondering how it plays out in both PvP and PvE, then one thing I can say is that it's okay, but not the best. In PvE, your primary is pretty good for taking out red health enemies, relatively quickly, and feels much like a full auto scout. The same can be said while you're in PvP, as the weapon can kill players within 4-5 to five shots, depending on where you land. However, the half D has one of the worst recoil patterns for an AI I've ever seen in D2. Even with a kinetic counterbalance mod, it still kicks like a mule, and really does put you at a disadvantage if you don't try and fight back against a recoiled weapon. Now, in the clip shown, I look like I'm doing pretty damn well, but half the time is either I get lucky, I get the first shot, or I finish up what my friendlies do. It's a 50-50 weapon that you'll either love or hate, but through a lot of playage, I can master it quite well if I can pick my fights. Now one thing I can say is that when you do enter the Crucible, one thing I can say is that do not go solo play with this weapon. You can, you can in most cases survive most 1v1 fights. But I recommend that you try to at least be near one of your teammates, or better off, try and get the catch on the people. Because the weapon has a very slow rate of fire, and the recoil pattern of the weapon really does shake it up. Sometimes there'll be shots where you suspect it landed, but most times it won't. So if you ever want to have a chance at, as a taking on a group of players, or taking on one single player, I recommend that you one, make sure you're at least near your teammates, so you can at least, you know, have some support. Or two, try your best and control the recoil and aim for the chest and make sure the weapon aims by the chest to the head. Because it does some good crit damage and if you can land the crit shots, the weapon can take down the opponents with relative ease. Even meter users funny enough. Your sidearm is pretty good at shutting down players in close quarters as well. And is also good at taking down a variety of enemies with its fast fire rate. You can change to the last hope if you want to but I went with the Itana simply for its looks and unique hip fire perk. Lastly, your heavy grenade launcher, the Berenger's Memory, is also a 50-50 weapon to use. But through PvE and PvP, for example, 
it does great damage against enemies and bosses alike, as you can stick them and change the explosion for maximum effects. While in PvP, same thing can be done, but you have to be aware that the players will most likely jump or dodge out of the way, which, with only 4 shots made available to you, means you have to either corner them or bait them. And this can really vary for you against the type of players you're up against in PvP. Now, if you feel like you're not great with sticking players or baiting them, then I advise you to go and use the player of the game grenade launcher, as it has proximity destination built into it. It makes it a whole lot easier for you to land shots and kill groups of enemies. I'll tell you now, player of the game is one of those grenade launchers that, if you don't have it, I suggest you go farm it. It's a very good weapon. So the astronaut build feels like a load that I recommend everyone to go ahead and play around with, just to break the norm and try something different for once. You can always change the gear to fit more of a modern slash golden age astronaut, like weapon wise, but this setup plays pretty well, and although you may not do good with it at first, you should just play with it until you start to get comfortable at the very least. It's one of those loadouts that, through time and practice, you can really enjoy it. It's not, it's not end game worthy, but for fashion, it's generally one of the, I'll say top 10 fashionable loadouts to go ahead and use. So if you ever want to try something different, or if you ever wanted to actually cosplay as a astronaut from the golden age, then I present you the Titan astronaut. Fun, effective, and all round balanced. So that's the end of my video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then by means leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by means leave a dislike. I understand, I'll look back over the video and see what I need to improve on in the near future. So once again guys, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.